On September 16, 2013, Bombardier C-Series aircraft, now the Airbus A220, first took to the skies for its maiden flight. The type would then enter commercial operations with Swiss in July 2016. And so, at the time of making this video, the aircraft type has been in service for less than a decade. We don't know about you, but to us it does indeed seem rather early for such a jet to be retired and scrapped for parts. We take a look at this somewhat unexpected first for the A220 family in today's video. And so, it was announced on April 8th that an Airbus A220-300 would be parted out to help alleviate the parts shortages contributing to ongoing A220 issues. The announcement came from a company by the name of Azora, which mentioned that the arrangement was being made in conjunction with Delta Material Services, or DMS, a wholly owned subsidiary of Delta Airlines. The strategic agreement is meant to address the A220's ongoing aircraft on ground or AOG challenges. This first ever A220 to be scrapped is an airframe previously operated by Egypt Air. Azora says that the aircraft has been delivered and is currently undergoing teardown. Now, we know that Egypt Air retired its entire A220 fleet of 12 aircraft between 2021 and 2024. As reported by Arabian Aerospace in 2021, after speaking with the then airline chairman, Egypt Air had been experiencing constant issues with the combustion chamber of the Pratt & Whitney GTF or geared turbofan engines. These issues were significantly serious to require the unscheduled replacement of no fewer than 15 of the 24 engines on the wing within the first two years of their service. While such engine problems have been seen with other airlines, it was noted by Times Aerospace that the harsh operating conditions of the Middle East are thought to have worsened the Egyptian company's experience. Adding further credibility to these issues is the experience at nearby Iraqi Airways. At the time of making this video, the carrier's entire fleet of five A220-300s has been stored since at least late 2024. It's quite a bad look considering the jets are essentially brand new, aged an average of just 2.7 years. We're quite sure that this airline will be following in the footsteps of Egypt Air, selling its jets off to a company such as Azora. This may be a slight tangent, but we have to imagine that Qatar Airways would be feeling quite relieved that it never acted on its early interest in purchasing the type, back when it was the Bombardier C-Series. But back to the soon-to-be-dismantled A220, we know through the data available at Planespotters.net that the airframe being scrapped had Egypt Air Registration Sierra Uniform Golf Foxtrot Alpha and was re-registered to Azora Registration November 560 Alpha Zulu in December 2024. Currently five and a half years old, it began its service life with Egypt Air in October 2019 and was leased out to Nigeria's Ibom Air from June 2021 to June 2022. Soon after, the aircraft was taken out of service and put into storage. Azora had actually purchased all 12 A220-300s from Egypt Air, with three subsequently taken up by Breeze Airways and one by Cyprus Airways. Other airframes are listed and stored, but are said to be due at Azora Aviation. Speaking about the airframe being dismantled, Azora says the aircraft's components will be used to support the repair needs of Delta Airlines fleet and other airlines worldwide by providing A220-300 parts. In addition, Azora is leasing the engines to Delta to support Delta's existing A220 fleet. The first lesser to develop such a solution for the A220, President at Azora Ron Bohr, stated, This strategic partnership with DMS is a clear example of Azora's creativity in helping alleviate the challenges seen across commercial aviation today. Airlines globally are working through AOG disruptions and we're proud to play a role in helping our partners overcome these. Bohr continues by saying that Azora are big believers in the Airbus A220 and it remains a highly valuable and important asset to the company. Parting out this used aircraft and leasing its engine is a creative solution that will generate long-term opportunity for the A220 to continue to thrive. We are honored to partner with an industry leader such as DMS to create this win-win result for our A220 customers. At the time of making this video, Delta Airlines has 76 Airbus A220s in its fleet, 
with more on the way. This divides to 45-100s and 31-300s. Currently, 8-100s are listed as parked. Of course, some of these aircraft are on the ground for routine maintenance, although some jets have been grounded for suspiciously long amounts of time. November 105 Delta Uniform was parked in December 2023, while November 110 Delta Uniform went into storage in January 2024. November 106 Delta Uniform hasn't operated a revenue service since January 2024. November 107 Delta Uniform's last revenue service was in November 2023. Clearly, Delta has been having some challenges of its own with regards to its A220 fleet. Hopefully, this deal with Azora can help with that. We've covered the A220's issues extensively on our channel through several videos, highlighting that it's not just Egypt Air that has decided to walk away from the aircraft type. Airlines that have changed their mind include Air Senegal and Air Manas. The two carriers had taken delivery of the A220 only to end operations with the type shortly after. Other carriers had placed orders but eventually cancelled them for a variety of reasons. Air Baltic has been one of the carrier's hardest hit by A220 engine issues. The Latvian airline has metaphorically put all its eggs into one basket with its all A220 fleet. The airline currently has 50 A220 300s, but 10 of those, or 20%, are currently on the ground. The airline announced in early April that it will be leasing two Airbus A319s and one A320 to support its flight operations, during what it calls a global engine maintenance delay. Priding itself in offering an extremely young and modern fleet, we can imagine Air Baltic taking interest in A220 components if such parts will allow its aircraft to re-enter service. One has to wonder if it'll be the next carrier to partner with Azora to take advantage of Egypt Air's retired airframes. Ultimately, it's quite unfortunate to see such a young aircraft being retired and scrapped, when it was announced in 2023 that two ex-Norwegian 787s, both under 10 years old, would be scrapped, it was quite a shock. And so it's even more of a surprise to see a similar fate for the younger A220. We can only hope that such actions will indeed alleviate the ongoing supply chain issues and part shortages experienced by A220 operators. But what do you think of this move? Was it the right decision to dismantle such a young airframe? And do you think it'll be a similar fate for some other ex-Egypt Air A220s? Finally, what do you think will happen to the Iraqi Airways A220s? Let us know your thoughts on all of this by leaving a comment down below. Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.